Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and today we are filming a revised office tour since I have changed things around. I have my new longer desktop that I got from Ikea a couple months back, and I haven't showed you guys what I've changed up, so I figured I would give you guys a new and improved tour of the office. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I guess we'll start with this wall I'm facing. I have my mirror and my leggings and t-shirt and comfy socks mm. and that mirror is from home goods a few years ago i don't know who makes it what brand whatever and then i also have my brentwood home meditation pillow that i just keep right next to my yoga mat this is a hugger mugger yoga mat that that doesn't want to focus okay <laughs> go back to the wall that took forever to focus anyway um i did yoga this morning so it's out most days it's out i really only roll it up on the days where i'm giving the office a thorough vacuum so that is what is going on on this wall so pretty much nothing and then we turn to this side of the room which is much different than it was previously so over here i've got Fran's perch and my packaging materials for when I sell things on Poshmark. And then I also have this little command hook for taking pictures of stuff for Poshmark. And then I have a shredder. I command stripped a power strip to the end of this side of the desk just so all the various things can be plugged up over here, kind of clean it in one place. Got my charger. I usually get extra charging wires from Five Below. I don't find that any brand lasts longer than another. These die just around the same amount of time that an Apple one does, so I might as well pay less money, which is annoying, but that's what happens. And so, like I've mentioned, the desk is from Ikea. I have the leg that's supposed to go in the middle of the desk, and I just never put it on there. Um, I don't find that it's sagging in the middle, at least not yet, but if I do find that it gets like that, I will install it. But right now, I'm not having an issue. And I've got my work desk, a little hand sanitizer, a K-Boss lip balm, my Jonas Brothers notebook with all my work notes. I have the uh, wrist guard and mouse pad with a little wrist guard that I got on Amazon. I'll link to those. And so, like, this is all work stuff and then this is like my personal stuff my mug my friend Lindsay had got me i think for my birthday 2020 and then my starbucks tumbler for my water i think these um marble coasters were from home goods i'm not exactly sure this is my day-to-day -day planner from CGD London. I can link to that. I love that. And then my Mac, which is my personal computer. We've got my Zoya nail polish remover, lipsticks that I want to focus on using up, pencils, all my pens and fun stuff. This is some Audrey Layton, Audrey Layton vintage packaging and stuff. I haven't hauled that in a video yet, so I just wanted to keep that there because she, her packaging is amazing. It's really cute. And then a box of tissues, a hand lotion, nothing crazy. The other drawers, a little trash can. I think that was from the, tar the uh, Target dollar section, a tripod, a mirror. And then I use my yoga block as like a footrest because my legs are very short. I'm five feet tall. I've mentioned that a million times, but I keep drilling at home. I am short and my feet don't always reach the floor very comfortably. And then I have a couple beauty products and a little bag that I have set aside to give to a friend. And then up here, just got like a picture of me and Austin, some old petite vor, or not old, that one's actually new, but some petite vor cards that I just think are pretty. They have really beautiful prints on each month's card. Covered up this um, cork box that had some personal stuff on it that I just didn't need to be broadcasting on the internet. But then I've got these two that have like family pictures, a really cute card I'd gotten, just various things. 
And then this is my Rue Paws Drag Race calendar that I'm in love with. Love that. I think that the 2021 calendar might be sold out, but I'll link to their website anyway because they've got fun stuff. And then this little painting my friend made me. I think she saw something similar online and she made one herself to give to me because this is a very me kind of quote. So that is everything on the side of the room. Oh, and my chair that I got at Home Sense. Home Goods. No, that was from HomeSense, I think. And that brings us to this side of the room. So it might be weird lighting just because we're literally facing the windows. But this bookcase, bookshelf, I got at a, what are they called? Why am I blanking? Estate sale. Got this at an estate sale a really long time ago and it's amazing. I've got all my purses up top and then books. This shelf just kind of doesn't have anything right now. So I've got uh, yoga socks. I don't really need them anymore because this mat is so non-slip, but they're there. And then a couple of sweaters. I'm just not sure if I want to keep or get rid of just yet. So they're kind of like in purgatory. Books, planner crap, magazines, uh, that's all like wedding stuff I was going to scrapbook at one point and just haven't done anything with. Um, various things in here, old pictures, old tech, um, sticker stuff I'm planning to give away, I just haven't seen the people I want to give it to yet. And then over here, old planners, uh, I've got my microphone there, just tchotchkes and things, <laughs> just stuff I don't know how to uh, describe that all better than just stuff. This corner is where we get a little crazy. <laughs> it's a little unorganized at the moment. I have my old mat, which I love the cushiness of, but it just wasn't grippy enough. Some shoes I need to post on Poshmark. There's a deep fryer, which we got for our wedding, but we don't have anywhere to put it. Our kitchen's too small. So I've listed it on Facebook Marketplace, and my thought is, It'll either sell or it'll sit in this corner in this box until we move to a different house that'll maybe have room for us to sit out a deep fryer. I mean, I'd love to deep fry things, but we just really don't have space. And then I've got a purse that's on Poshmark, this painting that's on Facebook Marketplace, and then the closet from hell, which literally has all of my Poshmark stuff, crafting things, my old computer, um extra wires, Christmas packaging materials. This closet is stuffed to the brim with mostly Poshmark stuff, but it has got tons of things in here and I just, I can't close the door anymore because I have to have that footstool sitting, sitting there so I can reach things. I can stand on it and reach things. So this is kind of a mess in the office right now. I gotta think of a better solution, but it is what it is right now. Then down here on this wall, we have a couple of things I still need to post and then a bunch of shoes I have on Poshmark on this little Ikea rack. I have some clothes I need to haul. Like all of this is all stuff I need to haul. This is all stuff I need to post on Poshmark. I just haven't posted it yet. And then we have my map wall, which I love. These are all maps I've collected over my travels. A lot of these are from when I lived in Belgium and I traveled around, so love this wall. And I just need to find more frames in the right sizes to continue to build onto this, because I love it. And that's actually everything. So, yeah. I'm glad I could give you guys a tour. Oh, I didn't mention these little valances, but I think those were from Wayfair. But that's everything. Yeah, I will link to anything I can find, anything I've mentioned down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. If you have any ideas on how to improve certain parts of my room, I would love to hear them. It's a work in progress. It's nothing perfect. It is what it is. Um, yeah, and that's it. Subscribe. Did I say subscribe? I don't remember. Um, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.